developing story out of Pearland ISD, where controversy is swirling over a photo taken in the halls of Pearland High School. A lot of people are upset over what you see here. One student wearing a shirt with the Confederate flag, another wearing a hat with the same image. Brandon Walker live in Pearland tonight. Brandon, we received several emails from Channel 2 viewers asking us to look into this, and the Brazoria County NAACP has spoken out as well about it. Yeah, they have, Dominique. Eugene Howard, the president of the Brazoria County chapter of the NAACP, says that this incident is one amid a series of what he says are racist acts to have occurred within Pearland ISD. And he says the school district isn't doing enough to fix that problem. School buses loaded off they went, and thus Friday at Pearland High School is in the books. Although the story that is today, as told by this picture, suggests a day unfortunate, beginning at 7.45 a.m. A group of students walking the halls, at least one of them wearing a shirt with the Confederate flag, another wearing a hat with the same. The Confederacy was a group of domestic terrorists that wanted to destroy America, period. They fought to own people that looked like me. Eugene Howard, president of the Brazoria County chapter of the NAACP, along with Pearland ISD parents and other community leaders, say the students' actions were to intimidate others, primarily students of color. Yet despite what they say was obvious, they allege the administration at Pearland High School didn't act soon enough. Well, from 7.30 to 10.30, this child was allowed to walk the, the campuses, the hallways of this school, and nothing was done about it. The shirt and the observation that at least two can be seen without a mask, parents say, is a dress code violation. Pearland ISD agrees the shirt violated dress code, sending a statement to Channel 2, which reads in part, quote, per the Pearland ISD dress code, apparel or accessories which include cultural divisiveness and racial intolerance may not be worn. Appropriate disciplinary action was taken in accordance with the student code of conduct. I am a uh, recently retired military officer. You know, and after seeing what our country has the potential to be and the potential to do, I refuse to subject them to this. Now, Eugene Howard, again, the chapter president, says that he has spoken to Pearland ISD administrators about cultural sensitivity lessons and whatnot, but he says that the school district hasn't listened to him thus far on that. He's hoping that down the line that will change. Live for you tonight in Pearland, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel.